Hey guys, what's going on? This is Pure Fishing New York, and I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. This video is on my 75 gallon uh, aquarium, which holds four Oscars, two catfish, and two plecos. Um, the filters that I have running it are two Aqua Clears, one's a 100 and one's a 75. I also have two sponge filters on each side of the aquarium. And, uh, yeah, let's get into this. Uh, this is going to be a video of me um, feeding them uh, pellets. I'll be feeding them the aqua, excuse me, the cichlid gold pellets. And the catfish, I'll be feeding them. I usually feed them tilapia fillets, but I ran out, so I'm going to be feeding them porgy fillets that I have left over from this season. So uh, we'll get into that right now. So I'm going to be feeding the, the Oscars first. So I'll, the biggest Oscar you see right there is a regular red Oscar. Um, the bigger, smaller one is the ruby red albino. Now I also have a albino tiger Oscar and a red tiger Oscar. One of the catfish that I have is a red tail catfish, and the other one is a white catfish that I actually caught in the Hudson River. Uh, when I caught that um, catfish, it was in very bad condition. It had parasites, and it also had um, anchor worms. So I treated it once I got it into my uh, separate aquarium. I also have a 30 gallon. I put that catfish in the 30 gallon quarantine them for about a month and until he was fully healed and relieved himself of all those anchor worms and parasites. And he's doing way better than he was when I originally caught him. So here's the red tail catfish up close, and there's the white catfish, and they're awaiting their fillets. Here's the porgy fillets that I'll be feeding them, and the uh, red tail catfish is always the first one to take the fillets down. So he sometimes he even takes it out of the other catfish's mouth, so it's a little bit crazy, but uh. Sometimes I have to use a skewer to poke the fillet and put it in front of the white catfish's face. But uh, with the red tail, sometimes I like to just put it in front of his face as well. But uh, I could just drop it in and we'll eat it. But sometimes I gotta be careful with that ruby red albino because he'll try to take a bite of the fillet. He's taken some pieces as you'll see later on in this video. I don't know why the red catfish spit out that fillet. He usually just eats the fillet real quick, but uh, seems like he didn't want it today. He only ate like a piece or two, 
and he was done. Maybe maybe he got full, but he usually eats like three or four. But maybe that might that, that might have been the case. He probably was full. Look at this monster, just absolutely devouring that whole piece of fillet. I tried giving the white catfish a piece of fillet one last time to see if he wanted any. It looked like he did, but he just spat it out. Um, well, you can see the red tail just came up like a vacuum and finished up the job. But uh, yeah, here's uh, here's the video of my tank, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I really appreciate all of you uh, who watch and subscribed. I uh, really appreciate it. Um, you guys made me grow within a couple of years and uh, I just reached 500 subscribers and I appreciate each and every one of you uh, I try to bring you guys more content more fishing videos coming soon it's winter but I will try to bring out the most content that I can and uh, yeah if you like this video like comment subscribe um, yeah I'll try to bring you guys more videos maybe maybe uh, bring one out next week and I'll uh, see you guys next time